everyone is ready bright and early this morning it is not even 8 a.m the car is booked in at Fasselton and we are off to spend the day everyone's packed up this morning me is thanking last night me who did all the snacks and all the bag prep so it's all good good to go and now we're just gonna carry it around Fasselton for the next <laughs> But yeah, we haven't seen Vassalton at all yet. We've been in Margaret River for nine, ten days. Yep. And we haven't come out this far because we knew today was coming. So we've got one day. We're going to do it. Do it properly. It's going to be good. It's going to be busy. We're going to be wrecked. But we're excited. You ready? Ready. Ready? No. Oh. Over there, that's pretty cool. Oh, is it? What do you reckon? Pretty good. Pretty cool. I had so much fun on there. You had so much fun. <laughs> Did you nah. climb all the way to the top, yeah. or were you too scared? Are you so proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> I think Scarlett's up there somewhere. Where is she? What do you reckon? Is this cool? Yeah, it's a cool <laughs> Alrighty, now's the tester. Can we bring Alfie down the jetty? There's a big sign there. And we're about to find out. <laughs> no dogs. We can't walk the jetty with the dog. The famous Basselton jetty. And we can't go down it, mate. We don't even have the car to put Alfie in the car if we wanted to. Alrighty, so that was a bit disappointing. Very hey. much so, yeah. Um, but we have a new plan. We were hoping to maybe stay for sunset here, but instead, considering we can't even have our feet on any of the beaches, not we're gonna, the beach, we're gonna walk a little bit further and see if we can have him on the beach and go for a swim. But um, then I think we're gonna cut our day short as soon as the car's ready, we're pretty much gonna oh, do a brewery and leave. And then we're gonna race back here first thing tomorrow morning. When it's a bit cooler, Alfie in the car, yep. and um, check out the jetty. Hopefully, if we can leave early enough, let's see. If it's cool enough, we found the section that is dog friendly. So it goes from absolutely no dogs to you can have your dog off the lead. They can wander. They can do whatever they want. And we're only a little bit away from the jetty, so I don't know how um, they really patrol that. But we're just gonna stay here where. He's allowed. And um, maybe go for a swim. See. We are the So one day he wears sneakers and we're at the brewery. I need help. Cheers. What do we got? Ginger beer. What do you get? Ah, uh, session of love you. Oh, yeah. Ting ting. Ting ting. What did you end up guessing? Um, can't remember. Pale ale, IPA, I think, and raspberry wheat beer, I think. Yeah. That's not what I was gonna get you. Yeah. Well, yeah. What were you gonna get? <laughs> I don't know. Just you were just gonna say surprise me. What this one? It's supposed to be a slushy. It's like seven percent, I think. Oh, look out. Oh, it's so sweet. Definitely only one of those. <laughs> Having a crack at the Bustin Jetty, finally. So Alfie's in the car, uh, or in the van. He's locked in the van. So we got in nice and early, so it's still cool. Um, we've just got his bed in the van, and gonna check out well, that bad boy over there.
All right, so we made it on. So adults are four bucks each. Yeah, eight bucks, kids are free. Kids are free, how good. Bloody beautiful day. All right, look at this water. Oh my goodness. Very good spot, you reckon? Yeah, very good spot to fish, but we're not bringing any fish and stuff. Nah, we're just doing the walk today. And we're also going to find some fishies somewhere here. Maybe. You happy we came? Yeah. Because I was so excited yesterday, but it wasn't dog friendly. True, correct. So <laughs> We are over halfway, obviously, and um, yeah, it's getting a bit windy now. Beautiful out here, though. How good. What do you reckon, Teddy? Good. 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 <laughs> Scars up there. How good are jetties that actually have like this bottom beam here? So we barely had to worry about the kids apart from the openings like that. Um, this side's all of a sudden dropped off on the bottom beam, so we've crossed over. Um, but Honestly, this is the longest jetty and um, first time I haven't had to worry about the kids actually being on the jetty. It's awesome. Do you agree? Yeah. Well, I don't have to worry about him up here. You know. <laughs> this is how we do it, right? <laughs> they got the, um, most of the way there, but... On the way back now. Oh, oh, nearly, nearly made it back, Scarlett. What do you think of the Basso Jetty? Um, it was so cool. Yeah. But we, uh, there was too much noise from those houses, so we weren't allowed there. Yeah, there were a lot of people there, weren't there? Back yeah. in the. Yep, so back to go back. So we're going to a different camp, aren't we? Yep, so we're going up to Fremantle. You know where, you know where Fremantle is? No. You know the footy team Fremantle? Yes. What colour are they? Um, they are, are they red and white? No, nah, purple. They're purple and white? Yeah. So we've got to go back and get Alfie. Yeah. And go for a bit of a drive up to Freo. Yeah, and it's going to take us two hours. Yeah. Nearly there. I my flippers. Is it ready to go? Yeah, ready to go do my flippers <laughs> and do swimming. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, let's do this. Go, 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 Ted, get around. So we spent the last three nights in Fremantle. Fremantle Village, got a few things done, did a bit of a snorkel, and went to a few breweries. So we've um. <laughs> oh, what's this going on here? Oh, help you! Teddy Pretzel! <laughs> so yeah, went to a few big breweries. So Gage Road, which is unreal, like it is massive there. So much for the kids to do as well, and um, little creatures as well. So that was pretty cool. So we'll probably make a few day trips into Mandura, see the, I don't even know how it's pronounced. Mandura? 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 Oh, 
think it's like less on the earth. Alright, Mandra. So yeah, we'll go do that and then um, suss out the giants. And Kayla's got the hot tip and said that there's a brewery that way as well. So we'll definitely go check that one out. Where are we? Sem Sebus Song. Sem Sebus Song. <laughs> the song? Yeah, so we're checking out the giants of Mandra. There's four, isn't there? There's technically six. Six. But one's in Perth, apparently, and the other one that we tried to go to is in a national park, so we can't take Alfie in there. So we've checked out this one, we're checking out this one, and we'll go find the rest of them after. We did not get a map, we did not get anything, we're just Googling it. Just winging it. <laughs> As we usually do. All right. We didn't actually end up getting any shots on the GoPro at the last place because shortly after we arrived, the kids all lost their minds. Um, but here we are trying to visit another one. So we'll see how this works. A <laughs> photo. That's pretty cool, Scar. We got going on here. Sausage rolls. Snag rolls. Hopefully they uh, work out all right. I haven't done them like this before. It's the first time I've done them in the weather. Yeah. I think we'll leave it at that. Yep. Bit of egg wash. I'm excited. We used to do these at home, but obviously we had a conventional oven then. This is not so conventional. Very letting all the heat out. <laughs> it's all right. Chuck it on. Just like the pizzas. Good things take time. Yeah, we'll see. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> How's the sausage rolls, Reg? Right. Uh, I haven't tried them. <laughs> I have tried them, they're super Take good. Take away dinner. They're actually super good. Super good? Yeah, with tomato sauce. Okay. Come on, Alfie. So I'm having a second crack at finding all these giants of Mandura. So I found two yesterday and the kids seem in much better mood today. We are back. We are back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we found, uh, we went south yesterday. The first one we went to was in a national park, so we couldn't take Alfie in there. And then we found two more and the kids started to get a bit tired and grumpy. So we decided to go back to camp to have a quiet night. So we're back. We found, going to find the other two now. We're currently on the path to Little Lou. And then afterwards, I think we might back, head back to where that first one was near that national park, because there's a brewery there, Thorny Devil Brewery. And we might go have a couple of drinks and some lunch there. If we can get there. If we'll we can get there. see how it Everyone seems a little bit wrecked. We're enjoying three nights of, um, or three nights in one place. Not the cost of it though. No, no, ridiculous. I don't know, but I'd, I'm not a massive fan of kid tax, especially when you have to pay, what, 11 bucks a night for a Lincoln? For a potato. So, <laughs> so three nights stay, that's added up to bloody 30, nearly 35 bucks, yeah. just for him. Just for Lincoln. Let alone the other kids. So, bit dear, but we've but, got the next yeah. two nights planned. Um, this cool little um, farm, so we'll head there tomorrow and show you what that's all about. Yeah, the next one is a donation camp. Yes. And we get just as much stuff <laughs> so yeah we currently got no power no water at 75 dollars a night and that's um that's crazy we can't do that the whole yep. way around australia so um next one is a donation camp and they have um like 
what the rescued animals and all this stuff so we're excited for, for that so last day in mandra and then we head inland because perth is crazy yeah i'm actually shocked at the lack of free camps around perth are you though no yeah i am because there's so many like i'd love to go to like swan valley and like check out all oh, the yeah, breweries and wineries and stuff but yeah there's just nothing around there you'd it's make expensive. an absolute killing if you set up a decent little you know, overnight stay or something there. But Our farm said it doesn't charge $75 a night. Man, you'll be she, fine. you will be laughing. She, she's not going to get over it. <laughs> She'll talk about this for years. Not quickly, anyway. No, no, Never seen the leg like that. Now we need to go to Maui, you reckon? They can't get up. How cool that this is carved out of or somehow maneuvered that this is a overturned tree root. How cool. So that's the back of him. Wouldn't even know he was there. So this is actually not an animal. It's actually a real life person and it's the biggest per. It's a very big is persons in the whole wide city. They're the only ones here somewhere. And people said they are so big, they have teeth, and they even have big feet. And, and they also have big hands. And he has a you know big baby? head. Little Louie. Little Louie. Where do we have to go? Through there and then a past there and then we will see the giant. You reckon? Reckon he's in there somewhere? It's a horsey. Yeah, he's a horsey. Yeah. This one here. Here we go. Shut this gate. Look at all the donkeys. Hi, Bubs. Alright, we are here at Swan Hill. Um, so we're just, we're not really sure how long we're going to stay here, but we're going to go. And she's just um, got a heap of food and stuff. And we're going to go feed the donkeys. Whew, how's the flies, Reg? They're good. <gasps> Made some new friends. And fill the bucket. Pretty cool. Yeah, a kangaroo. 
folded it right before it died. Yay! <laughs> Good job. He, he ate it, but he is a hungry boy. We're going to feed the baby lambs. Yeah, with some bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Is that them drinking? Yeah. <laughs> You're loony. How hey, many things? I got coffee, Lincoln. They're coming to us. Mom, it's coming to us. <gasps> Hi. I can actually see it. Say good morning. Good morning, kangaroo. I want the toast. He might want your toast. Are you scared, buddy? <laughs> most of the morning helping Karen out here at Swan Hill feeding the animals and uh, yeah Scarlet's in her element here helping out and um, yeah holding some guinea pigs feeding the goats got it's like a mini zoo here got every every animal you can think of but uh, having an absolute ball here we're only gonna stay one night but we have just extended it to two because uh, we just love it here so much um, yeah so We've stayed hitched, but we might unhitch, shoot into town, get a few things done, see how the rest of the day goes. But um, yeah, if you're out in, um, look for a spot to stay, a couple of hours east of Perth, this is your spot. Bloody Karen's lovely, so accommodating, and yeah, she turns what would usually be daily chores into fun because the kids, kids love it. Like it's. Something completely different that you don't get anywhere else. Hey, mate. Hello. Hello. Right, so when you come to Swan Hill Farm, the first thing you notice, apart from the big wire horse statue out the front, is the big rows of painted chairs down the driveway. So the kids are lucky enough today to get to paint their own to add to the collection. How cool is that, Scar? Cool. What are you going to ah. draw? I don't know yet. Don't know? What about you, Teddy? What are you drawing? A number block. A number block. Oh, jeepers. It's just red on it. Let's see how these turn out. How good's that? We made the row. Two absolute pieces of art right there. Hal's just giving Alfie one little last final walk before our drive. I think we're going to be heading to the Wadaroo Station Tavern. 
So we are gonna go into Northern, get a bit of shopping done first. And yeah, we'll be heading there. I think it's about a two hour drive from here. So a bit of a drive, but um, I think it's power and water supplied. Um, as long as you head to the pub for a feed and something to eat. So I dare say we'll be having a few pints there and hopefully a palmy. What do you think of this pub? Cool. Pretty cool. Did yeah. you like the playground? Yeah, I'll show you the playground. I'll show. No. So we're just at Wathery Tavern um, Station today. So we just pulled up here. Um, we were the only ones with the concrete block, Maybe but we had power and up. water. Maybe um, all for and free. Yeah, yeah basically Maybe for free. Up. So they just ask you to come into the tavern and um, basically you can just buy a beer. We stayed, um, put some money back into the, this town and um, had a big feed. And so power, water um, for uh, the cost of a beer if you want. Yep. Um, but yeah, we'll um, show you around and then we're going to go explore this um, old train station over there. And then we're heading off to Sandy Cape. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is such a cool stop. So if you are in the area, inland of Perth a little bit, definitely come here. It's well worth it. It's a tiny little community. And Great community. honestly, they were so lovely to chat to last the night. The second we walked through the door, they just made us feel like family. Like it was, it's unreal. Like yeah. so nice here. Yeah, so definitely come and check out this place. Bloody it's good food as well. Very cool. Yeah, we had a good feed last night. It was great. So here we go. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future adventures. Catch you next time.